good morning everyone welcome back to my channel so obviously i'm in a rush as usual i to be fair i wouldn't have been in that of a rush but i've just come on i'm pretty sure five days away so i had to redo my outfit rethink it also i've got so much like skincare shampoo conditioner hair stuff and i haven't got any moisturizer like for my legs i've got moisturizer for my face but i haven't got any for my legs so i'm like i could either pour to be fair I've, this is the only moisturizer i've got which is bayless and harden i thought that was um hand cream i'm not gonna lie i think i've got a hand cream as well the same one so I think I've been putting on body lotion on my hands, but I will. So today I'm helping out level six again. I'm always bloody late because something always goes wrong. Like it's always out of my control. That's all I'm saying. I think it's gonna be quite, oh, quite warm today. You know when like you come on and then you're like, suddenly out of nowhere just start to feel dead sick like that is me right now like my stomach's just randomly start to kill me i don't even know whether i've come on properly or what but i'm gonna quickly eat a bagel before i go i should have left about 15 minutes ago so i'm gonna be about half an hour late let's put this little bow in i wanted to like vlog all nicely this morning make myself a nice coffee but I'm just too lazy and I just wake up too late. So, unfortunately, that's not getting done today. This is the um, Come Back Curl Next Day Revitalizer and I always use it on my curls from when I braided my hair the night before. I mean, it, does, it doesn't last that long on these type of curls, but I'm not sure about if I do normal curls, like my natural curls, while they're more like waves. I use the wild deodorant today. It's going to be hot again, so we'll see how well that works. I'm not going to do any makeup because, like I said, I'm in a rush. So, we don't get time for makeup. Also, my skin has been so much better recently so proud um i'm so happy with that i think that's literally all we're gonna do i've got lip balm in my bag <laughs> Sorry if you can hear the someone cutting the grass. It's a sunny day, so everyone decides to cut the grass. But I've just finished my first job and I had a free drink on McDonald's, so I got myself a toffee latte. I've just got home. It took me so quick to get home, so I'm glad about that because now I've got more time to chill. This morning I woke up at 8 o'clock and I had to leave at 10 past 8. Yeah, I left at like 12 minutes past 8 and I got to work exactly at half 8 so at least I went late and I had my breakfast because I haven't ate yet and I put a few more stuff on Vinted last night so if you're not following me on Vinted definitely go and follow me I literally want to get rid of everything so I'm open to offers on everything the stuff that I put on last night are quite expensive but I've got like loads of cheap stuff as well that I'm selling for like less than a fiver so definitely go and check me out on there go and give me a follow message me most of the stuff i just want to get rid of it because the amount of clothes i have is a joke 
I just thought I'd come on while I was driving home. Like a little drive with me. She's about to be home in like three minutes though, but I really want to do a drive with me, with Jess, because I feel like we would just chat about about the most randomest things ever and it would be so fun. But I just wanted to do a little update on work, so it went really well. The manager was in today because she hasn't been in because she was on holiday last week. She asked me to come in tomorrow, so I must be good. And I always think like that I'm bad at everything and I just didn't think I'd be good at like any other job besides being a waitress because I've been a waitress for four years or like three years. So I just thought like I'd never be good enough for anything else but I really just need confidence because maybe I'm just good at everything I do like maybe if I just done everything with confidence then I'd be amazing at it like she wants me to come in on my day off to work so I must be good at it do you know what I mean I think when I do something now I like to be the best I can at it so I think that's why like I am good at things, but I also think I don't do things that I never couldn't do, if you know what I mean. So, one second, just have the round while I need to concentrate. They actually really wind me up, but anyway. Yeah, so I'm going in tomorrow, but that means that tomorrow I'm in from half eight till four, which actually isn't that bad because I used to do nine fives. So, I suppose it's it's the same actually less than that i've just i've just reversed into the bed <laughs> i've just reversed bloody hell i honestly feel like i've got such a busy week this week but it's fine i'm working tomorrow but degree show on thursday work on friday friday i'm working in half eight four as well then i'm working saturday but i'm doing 12 four on saturday and then i've got sunday off Basically what I'm going to do is all my stuff's like mismatched. So what I'm going to do is sort out everything that I've got here. Like onto my bed. I'm just going to throw it on for now. Probably only have like two drawers of like clothes here. And then the rest of it will just be like all my other extra stuff. These are the drawers. It's all me drunk, but it's going to be all nice, all organised. I want to get rid of this box, so I need to put all that into these as well. But these are like clothes and like just a load of stuff, to be honest. Like, obviously, I can fit more stuff there. Um, This is like all me stationery, and I have literally got so much. But this room needs a major organised tonight. It's currently six o'clock. I'm gonna go and have me tea and then I'm gonna get everything done. Just thought I'd show a few things that are going on me vintage. This is a Bershka dress. I really like it, it's just a bit big. Like really stretchy because it's like thick rib. These two Zara dresses that are like work dresses. I've only worn this one once. I don't think I've ever worn that one. This is a poly dress. I've never wore it because really love it. I just don't like the way it looks on me. This uh, red dress from Primark. This is really nice as well. I might keep that if it doesn't sell. <sighs> I don't know. I just don't really suit long dresses. In jumper from Primark, long sleeve, a little bit of like a funnel neck. Ribbon at the bottom, that's nice. I don't even know half the stuff that's in here. Oh, a little nasty girl dress. Floral. This isn't mine, this is probably my mum's or my little sister's. But that's probably being sold too. If you want it, comment down below. Let me know. This is a size four. It says it's a four, but it looks quite big. It's actually quite cute. This blazer from PLT, no, from Misguided. Just like a plain blazer in his island. These Levi shorts, they're a, a 30 waist. So they're a little bit too big for me. And if I wear them, I can't really wear them low waisted. I mean, I probably could, but I've got another pair of Levi shorts that I like. Columbia 
shorts they're a little bit washed out but these are my favorite shorts but they're a size six so they don't fit me anymore you can roll them up as well and they look nice trousers these are from asda george just some black like tapered trousers jeans these are from Shein, I think. Mm -mm, I don't know what size they are. Yeah, they're a petite medium. So these are too big for me. But they've got like a crisscross detail on the waist, which looks really nice. To be fair, they probably would fit, but I've got loads of jeans, so I don't need them. Corduroy pants, which are really nice. These leather trousers i think these are from pullum oh these are from sheen as well they're a size small as well they're like flat leg they're obviously fake leather got this dress oh clean got like a chain detail at the back these leather leggings from fashion over size medium brown stretchy the dna i really wore them once Sports waterproof and um, pants. I'm never gonna wear them again because they're size six. The gel it size six, but they've got like kind of stretchy waistband. I think they'd fit a size eight. Straight leg waterproof trousers, which are actually my keep. These are really nice. These are from um Zara. These are an old pair. Oh, they were too long for me. These are so nice wide leg actually they're probably like wide flare this dress from urban afters this dress from misguided this dress from motel rocks well it's like brand new with the label i've never worn out i just don't really think it suits me this bodysuit from plt you've probably seen this everywhere with the matching skirt this top blazer jack and jumper Brown leather jacket. If you just want to buy anything that I haven't yet got on me a vintage, then just comment down below, let me know, and I can put it up for you straight away so that you can buy it. This is the drawers looking so far. I'm not going to show you the other one because it's me under my drawer, but I'll just use these dividers to like separate me underwear from me um, pajamas in the other drawer. So this is where we've got with the drawers. I've got. All them drawers are full of stuff. That's just one empty one. And then this is the best I've got for now. I need to go on Pinterest and have a look. But I need to do my nails. So all my nails stuff's in the book. So I'm going to do my nails. Because this one snapped in work. And they're just growing out a little bit. And like chipped in a lot of places. So this is the drawing. I've literally filed them all down because they were so weak. So I'm just going to put a biab on them. And this is the after. I'm going to do it without the flash. Obviously, like I said, I trimmed them down really short. I was thinking right now, right, how I have walked to work for like every time that I've been in work, I've walked because I've been close or I haven't been able to drive so I've had to like get the bus and more. This is just so weird that I'm driving to work. Like, I feel like a corporate girl even though I'm not. Actually so fun driving to work. Right, let's try and reverse into this spot. Fun fact about me is I can't reverse on the right. Especially not in the rain. Reverse on the left. Hip. Wow, I am perfect. I don't know how I've just managed to do that. And like, it's raining, so my reverse camera's like all blurry and foggy. How nice is the sound of the rain now? I'm debating whether I should go into Greg's and get a coffee and just sit in the car in the rain. Should I do that? I feel like I should do that. But I don't want to get off the car in the rain. Or I could go and sit in work and get a coffee from work. Just a little update. I'm on my lunch break. Half an hour goes so quick. Like, it's been like 10 minutes already and all I've done was got myself a pasty from Sayers. 
and this coffee because it's just a caramel latte. I realised when I left Greg's that I'd left me drinking with my water bottle. So I was like, oh, I want to need a drink. And then I seen this and I thought, you know what, I'll have this skimmy little boost for the last hour and a half in the shift. Oh, is the fashion show. So I'm excited for that, but I'm also nervous because I said I'll be a dresser, but I haven't had nothing back yet. But the level six that I'm helping said that she will get them to put me in the email list for it. But like, when you're a dresser, you've got to be responsible for your model. And what if my model is just like, leave me alone? Like, I'll do what I want. Then what do I do? I've just got to be like, okay. And like, if your model's late, it's my fault. So, I need to know what I'm doing because I need to message my model to be like, you need to be in at nine for hair and makeup. I don't know. Maybe I'll just be like a, like a helper, not a dresser. Yogurt, Greek yogurt, strawberries, some um, special flakes, a little bit of golden syrup. Just because I don't like something too heavy in the morning, I like something quite fresh. And this has been really nice, like in the sun, but it is currently raining in. So it's probably not the best breakfast to have right now, but I've got like 10 minutes to eat this and then. I was gonna make like a wrap or something for my lunch, but I'm not gonna now because I can't be bothered. So I'm just gonna have hummus and crisp and fruit for my lunch today. I just wanted to come on and tell you that I am being sent the health and fitness, the productivity method planner. I actually, oh, I'm so excited. This is literally the perfect gifted, like, ad or whatever for me ever just got in and look what i've got oh my god i'm so excited i was gonna do like an unboxing on tiktok but i think i'm gonna do like a daily vlog tomorrow when i've been in the gym and everything just to like show the product wow i mean i feel like i shouldn't be opening it on the kitchen side but this is it. The Health and Fitness Daily Planner. The Productivity Method X Shreddy by Grace Beverly. It's so nice. Obviously gonna need some scissors to open it. But I don't want to like mess up the book because I'll be so sad. It feels so real. Like I actually don't know how influencers get gifted stuff all the time like do you reckon it goes to the head because i just couldn't imagine like getting gifted stuff all the time like that is my dream no like how can you even express how thankful you are for it do you know what i mean like i just feel like you just can't like i can't express my excitement for this planet i feel like I just need to be so careful with it because I just don't want to get it like dirty or anything. But saying that, I'm probably going to get it dirty. It's got a little thing at the front saying this is so-and-so's planner and I can't live without it. So if found, please contact me and put like an email. I feel like I shouldn't be this excited, but I am. I'm not going to read through the tips on how to use because I'll read through them myself. But we've got an about me and it's like what I enjoy, what makes me exercise, what makes me eat a balanced diet, what are my three motivations for being fit and healthy. This is your yearly goals. So we've got career goals, finance goals, relationships, personal development, their personal goals. And then we've got health and fitness goals, performance, physical progress, health and nutrition, mental wellness. I'm not going to go for everything because I feel like this could be quite boring for some people, but if you like me, 
you'll really enjoy this like alice you will love this so this is just the month it's all um i'm pretty sure it's all dateless so you can put in what month it is you can put in all the stuff that you need to put in so you can like still use it i really don't like planners that have dates in because if you miss like a week or a month or you what like you're away on holiday and you don't use it or you just things happening you can't use it then because it's dated you can't really use it again which is a nightmare but this is perfect it's got like a calendar for all your workouts of the week i'm going to aim to do four workouts a week and then the other three days i'm just going to do a long walk we've got monthly check-ins and reviews it's got like performance mental wellness hydration nutrition then we've got weekly so we've got my number one priority for the week weekly goal one weekly goal two weekly goal three a note to keep me motivated this week weekly goal four weekly goal five then we have a weekly meal plan a weekly exercise plan so this is what's in a normal daily planner as well hour by hour schedule we've got from 5 a.m to 10 p.m which I'm really trying to make that my routine, to be honest. Schedule hour by hour for the day. Quick ticks, tasks. Quick ticks are five minutes. Tasks are five to 30 minutes. And projects are, oh my God, I actually can't express. I've been watching all of Grace's um, podcasts. And I remember watching the one about like how to be the most I oh know that was a YouTube video, how to be the most productive, and she was explaining the quick ticks, tasks, and projects. And I was just like, I need to get this planner. A habit tracker. So you write all your habits, or you write three habits that you want to introduce, and you can tick them off of the week. We've got a menstrual cycle tracker. So this is the only one that says January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. But like, so I just start from May or June, the date, and then I can always go back because it's not dated, it's just month, if you know what I mean. We've got a progress tracker, which is weight. Well, oh no, it can be anything to be fair. Lastly is favorite meals. Favorite meals, ingredients, instructions, calories, protein, carbs. So I suppose this is quite helpful if you've got like, Oh, there's quite a few pages if you've got like a couple of favorite meals you can put them down and then you know exactly how many calories and stuff are in them if that's what you're tracking and then we've got a load of you know pages at the end it's the whole planner i feel like i've been going through that for ages but thank you so much the productivity method for giving me this i'm very happy please tell me i'm not the only one that just sits here for like an hour on my phone before I go to the gym because I'm so scared. I literally hate going to the gym. I don't know why. I like it when I finished, but getting there is such a struggle. And when I'm there, if there's anyone in there, I just I'm like so anxious, which isn't the best, but I'm gonna put my shoes on now and I'm gonna go. Even though I don't want to. I need to. So I have just gotten back from the gym and I'm gonna make myself a little omelette for like brunch. The gut bacteria tablets that I was on about, live friendly bacteria, chewable. I don't know, I think it just like helps with the bacteria in your gut. These from Holland and Barrett, my mum got me these. Onion. So I could have a cheese and onion omelette. Oh. I have eggs, unfortunately. Can I have a hot coffee or a cold? Hot. We'll do hot today, yeah. I'm gonna make myself a little coffee. And then I'm gonna get out my a productivity method planner and I'm gonna plan out today because I've got lots to do I'm gonna have such a productive day 
and I'm also going to plan out my week. Today I'm going to use um, this smock with the little bees and flowers on and I'm just going to use my Nest Cafe Gold coffee because the coffee machine is still working so if Nespresso want to give me a coffee machine feel free because I use it every single day and I'll do loads of videos with it I do love it, I just don't know how to fix it like Okay, the omelets Oh no, it's fun Yeah, it tastes quite nice actually Actually, you know what? I've got a pepper from your Hello Fresh. So I'm gonna put some of that in it. To be honest, I wish this was a red pepper. A fair red. So I'm gonna pop this pepper and the cheese into the omelette just to give it a little bit of something. For some reason, that omelette doesn't look like it's cooking. But I'm sure it's just gonna take a minute but it'll be fine